the signs of kites kite flying is a fun activity that people of all ages can enjoy all you have to do is go somewhere windy and you can literally go fly a kite there are actually several bits of physics play here and interestingly they are pretty much the same physics that helps lift an airplane off of the ground these are also known as the four forces of flight lift weight thrust and drag the first of course is lift lift pushes the kite up and is the upward force acting on the kite basically the wind blows on your kite some of it hits the kite directly some go over the kite and some go under it the wind that goes underneath helps lift the kite off the ground sometimes when there is not enough wind to lift a kite you need to run with it creating your own bit of wind behind you next weight weight defines the force of gravity holding your kite to the ground kites are generally lightweight so that the wind can easily overcome gravity and lift the kite into the air next thrust the pull originating from the person holding the string is called thrust thrust is the force that pushes your kite in a forward direction thrust is created either by the wind driving the kite forward or by your child pulling the kite forward with the string next drag the push of the wind against the kite is called drag lift is the force that well lifts an object up drag is the pressure of the wind against the object that keeps it aloft the purpose of aerodynamics is to reduce drag but a kite is designed to offer just enough lift and drag to get it and keep it in the air to get your kite into the air the force of the lift must overcome the force of gravity holding the kite down to keep it in the air the force of thrust must be equal to the force of drag important physics concepts that are easy to demonstrate with your kite so what are you waiting for let's go fly a kite up to the highest heights